Almost 40 years ago, something remarkable happened here on the Somerset Levels. And if you were standing where I'm standing, you would have seen a new world record being made. On a calm summer's evening on the 11th of August 1986, engineers and crew of a modified Lynx helicopter built by Westlands in Yeovil had one mission, to make it go faster than any other helicopter in history. The Lynx would be crewed by Westland Chief Test Pilot Trevor Eggington and Flight Test Engineer Derek Clues. To set the world speed record, they would need to fly in excess of 368 kilometres an hour, which was the record set in 1978. Passing through the gate. Three, two, one, two. The men would follow a 15 kilometre route marked with flares between East Huntsville and Glastonbury. And meanwhile, on the ground, engineers and volunteers would be taking average speed readings after multiple runs. And I'm pleased to say that the mission was a roaring success. The aircraft achieved an average speed of 400.87 kilometres an hour. That's 249.10 miles per hour. It set a new record in the Federation Aeronautique Internationale, making it officially the world's fastest helicopter. And lucky for us, that very same Lynx can be seen on display at the Helicopter Museum in Western Supermare. But what I find remarkable is this helicopter was modified and ready to go in just 10 weeks. The engineers and pilots worked effectively in secret, designing and fitting new state-of-the-art rotor blades and engines to ensure that Westlands was entered into the history books. And it's a record that still stands to this day. They certainly proved one thing, Somerset makes the best helicopters in the world. Congratulations. Ah, okay. Davey, thanks very much indeed. And we'll all see you back at base.